Welcome on the inside, a cold reception on the outside. Steve Bannon returns to the place that helped elect President Trump. Germont Terry live in Warren and Bannon Germont was met by both supporters and protesters. He was, and Bannon spent a good 40 minutes breaking down the accomplishments of President Trump's campaign and how Macomb County really helped president, the president win in Michigan. At the same time, he told the packed house that the fight is not over. While outside the venue, people are fighting against what they say Bannon, Bannon stands for. Steve Bannon takes the stage at the Republican Unity Dinner to a standing ovation and warm cheers. Bannon served as the president's key advisor during the campaign and briefly as the White House chief strategist. He came back to Michigan to speak about the victory Macomb County played in putting Mr. Trump in the White House. We had uh, very much thought that Michigan was in play and our model showed that we were doing better than we thought. As Bannon reminisced and rallied the hardcore Republicans inside, including the likes of Attorney General Bill Schuette, outside stood opposition. A group of anti bannon demonstrators denounced the Republicans' decision to bring him to a dinner for unity. He stands for bigotry. He stands for hate. He should not be invited to raise funds here in Macomb County. Really, all he cares about is money for rich, more rich people. But the room full of Republicans, not to mention the Bannon and Trump fans outside, disagree. I think Bannon and I think Donald Trump are true Americans who are committed uh, to the advancement of the United States of America. And Bannon, before leaving the dinner, told the crowd to keep pushing the Trump agenda ahead. This is going to get down to one thing. Who can work harder? As we mentioned, it was a packed house, and those supporters paid anywhere from 70 to up to $1,000 for tonight's fundraiser. Reporting live in Warren, Jermont Terry, Local 4. All right, Jermont, thanks.